Well, thanks for joining me again. Um, I really appreciate those of you who've come back uh, again to, to view my channel. Today, um, I'm going to say a little bit about um, this uh, small lathe here. It's a four inch uh, center height lathe um, of rather unusual construction um, design. And the reason for that is because I made it and um, I made it basically with hand tools and a little bit of help uh, from some local workshops. So um, I plan to talk about that in, in another video. Today, however, I just want to focus on one particular issue which um, I've been putting up with for some 25 years uh, since uh, I started this project and that is uh, the pulley on the counter shaft uh, which wobbles. Um, basically, it's not true on, on its uh, axis, on its spindle. And so today uh, the project is to remove the pulley and to sleeve it and to um, reinstall it and hopefully make it run true. So um, hopefully you'll stick with me and, um, and uh, we can go through this small project together. So uh, you can see now close up, you can see the, the run out on the, the pulley here on the line shaft is quite considerable. Okay, that wasn't clear on the previous shot, just uh, there you can see I've lined up the camera with the edge of the pulley, nothing you can see how far it's out. So yeah, not very good. Here I'm actually getting the, the V-groove to run through, I'm not worrying so much about the casting. I'm just uh, grinding up my, um, my left hand knife turning tool. Uh, almost all my tooling is high speed steel. I don't have um, very much else available to me here. Uh, occasionally I've used a tungsten, tungsten carbide insert which I've raised to my steel shanks and that works well. I'd like to experiment with uh, uh, insert tooling but that's just not available here. For most of my work uh, high speed steel is perfectly adequate and um, it's great because I can shape it into whatever shape I want and make form tooling or whatever. Uh, the, the next tool that I'm going to uh, grind um, is the uh, internal um, boring tool, the boring tool here which is uh, actually made from a broken bit of uh, tap which I brazed to a shank which I turned up uh, to enable me to get into small diameters. So that's another advantage of high speed steel, you've got it lying around, broken taps, drills, um, all sorts of things you can use to make small tooling. I don't have a quick change tool post, so um, I just use my the old-fashioned uh, turret tool post that came with the lathe, and uh, so uh, I just use packing pieces and uh, uh, set my tools up like this. It's a bit slower, but uh, the job can be done. Um, I made this uh, this uh, tool high gauge, uh, which has um, you can check uh, for height by feeding across the top of this one or. Sometimes it's appropriate to, to measure underneath this other one, but there's, it's set bang on uh, center height and I use this uh, all the time for setting my tools up and um, it works fine for me.
that's 0.727. We're looking for 0.75. Um, 0.75 in the original bore diameter was uh, 58.625. I think that's adequate for a sleeve, but we want to keep as much material in the in the uh, bush, uh, or rather the boss, the boss of the uh, pulley. That's cast iron. Cast iron isn't very good in uh, tension, so we want plenty of material in the body. Plus the fact the uh, screw thread for the for the grub screw is in that. So I want to keep that as thick as possible, and then uh, just have a very uh, small sleeve in there, so it would be 1 16th, 1 16th on each side to make up the 1 8th, 1 8th diameter difference. That, that will be sufficient, I think, and uh, that will give us the result we're looking for. So I've got uh, uh, 25 thou to come off the, off the diameter, that's around about uh, 0 0.6 millimeter. So uh, I have uh, metric uh, dials on this machine. So that worked out about 0.6. So I've set my cross slide at zero and uh, we'll take off uh, around about 0.5 and then we'll check again. Okay, let's bang on 0.75. Looks like an acceptable finish. Uh, I'll just check with the internal calipers, just make sure that uh, it's parallel. Yeah, that feels fine. We'll settle for that. So the next thing is to remove this and we will uh, make the bush. Um, I'm not going to finish the pulley on the this face here and might just true up the rim as well. I'm not, not going to do that now. I'm going to do that to the last setting when I actually finally uh, bore the bush to size. Um, and the reason for that is I just want to make sure I can get everything as concentric as I can. So there we are, that's, that's uh, ready for the bush. Okay, I've got a piece of um, 7 8 mile steel here and we're going to use this for the bush. So. Um, not too much to take off, good size to be working with. And uh, just set this up and then we can um, get the bush ready.
right up to half inch now. Five, we're looking for 0.625, so 75 pound to go. Uh, so I can take uh, one millimeter off and still well, be well within size. Hopefully we're uh, close enough, close enough now for uh, roughing out the, the bore of the sleeve. Uh, there we are, we are at uh, 0.618, we're looking for 0.624. So that leaves uh, six thou for finishing. And uh, it will be good to finish that actually once it's pressed into the pulley, then we can uh, um, get that bang on size. And also make it make sure it's uh, concentric with the with the pulley. And of course, there'll be a slight con contraction of this as it's pressed into the bore. I mean, not not very much, but uh, theoretically, it's, it's a measurable amount. So there we are. The well, next stage is to bore the outside, and that does need to be a good good size. That needs to be the size to be a good press fit into the into the pulley. So slight interference we're looking for there. Well, I thought this was going to be a quick job, um, but as usual, it's uh, taking a little longer than I than I thought. So uh, I think this video is going to be too long if I try and do it in one go. So I'm going to make a break here, and um, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this first part. Um, if you have, then in a few days' time, uh, the second half will come out, and uh, um, you can watch that too. So thanks for joining me. Thank you.